Hello, my name is Mr. Breeze. I'm Head of Geography at Nobel, and I'm going to tell you why you should pick GCSE Geography. We say at Nobel that everything is geography, and we really do mean it. Every person, every part of the world, every news story is connected to and is affected by geography. The issues we face today in the COVID-19 pandemic are clearly linked to geography. We study and we learn about the relationship between wealth and health, how diseases spread, and how the world is so interconnected through globalisation. Students learn all about our changing weather patterns and the impacts humans have on climate and so many more issues we see in the world and the news today. We live in an increasingly connected world where distances between people and countries have never been smaller. As the world and its people change, geography offers the opportunity to understand the causes, processes and effects of these changes whilst learning about our growing knowledge of the natural environment. We follow the EDUCAS Geography A specification, in which there are three units, all of which are assessed by their own exam, which is an hour and a half long. There's no NEA or coursework or controlled assessment like that. It's purely assessed through exams. Unit one contains three topics called landscapes and physical processes, rural urban links, and coastal hazards and their management. Students will investigate questions such as how do rivers change from source to mouth? How does the sea change the coast? and why are fewer and fewer people living in the countryside. In Unit 2, students study weather, climate and ecosystems, development and resource issues, and social development issues. Students investigate questions such as why are rainforests found at the equator? Why on average do people live longer in Cambridge than Liverpool? And why is malaria a problem in Central Africa? Unit 3 is a bit different in that it's based on field work and the inquiry process. Students will learn about creating a hypothesis, collecting and analysing data, and evaluating their whole inquiry process, much like you would in a science experiment. This is on a range of topics and concepts, but in the past has included measuring traffic flows, changes over time, and people's opinions. In the final part of the unit, students are tested by being given some information linked to what they've studied before, but they've not seen that information before. They then have to consider everything that they've learnt so far, use all their geographical skills to answer questions and make judgments based on the information they've been provided with. Students studying GCSE Geography not only leave with an impressive breadth and depth of knowledge, but a variety of valuable skills, ranging from explore, explaining complex natural processes and human concepts to analysing data and statistical testing. These skills are valuable to colleges, sixth forms and employers alike. Geography combines the literacy and analysis we find in subjects like history and English, but also the statistical and statistical skills found in biology and mathematics. The GCSE course builds on what the students have learnt in Key Stage 3, with knowledge being carried over and topped up. The easiest way to know if you enjoy uh, geography, and if you would enjoy GCSE geography, is to ask yourself if you enjoy your lessons right now. If the answer is yes, then you're going to enjoy GCSE geography. At the moment, GCSE Geography is a very popular subject. We have three classes in Year 10 and three classes in Year 11. All these classes are taught by a single uh, expert teacher who is a specialist geographer. And this means, historically, we've had excellent results for the students in the department alike. I hope that I've shown you not only how exciting GCSE Geography is, but also how important and valuable it is as a subject too. If you'd like more information, you can speak to me or your geography teacher or look up EDUCAS Geography A.